What is good out there, everyone? I hope everybody's having a really good Sunday. It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to get modded outfits by duping birds, all right? That method. So with this method, you don't need save wizard. You don't need modded saves. And this works on Xbox One and PS4 as well, okay? So this is for everybody, basically. Now, big shout out to the founders, everybody who is included in, you know, taking part in this glitch. There's been many of you. So you guys know who you are, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be duping birds here and I'm also going to show you how to get the IAA badge, which you see that badge right there at the right side of the hip uh, and it's a laminate that goes around your neck. So you can actually get that and you can put that on all your modded outfits that you bring online. So we're going to be going over a lot in this and as well as the 100% save method by Boca Boy. All right. So what you want to do is make sure you have a peyote first, all right, a bird peyote that you can actually use in director mode. Now, when you go online, go into a public session and you want to have an outfit like this. I'm not sure if this is necessary anymore, but I still like to wear a default outfit, like something really simple. What I can say is make sure you have a hat on, a forward cap, and make sure you have a parachute bag. The parachute bag helps for duping birds, okay? So, I'm just going to find you session here until I find a session with an event. You see right here, challenge started. These are one of those free roam events. You need to find a session uh, that has one of these running, okay? And while it's running, as you can see in the bottom right, it says event ends in 10 minutes. So while it's running, have it set to, you know, right there, spawn location. It can either be random or last location. They both work. All right, I'm going to leave mine on last location. I know the event has started. I'm going to go ahead and leave to story mode. That is how you get outfits 100% of the time. Um, they got to be clean outfits, not too many layers, but we'll get into that. Anyways, that is your best chance to actually save an outfit by leaving online while there's an event running. So go back to story mode. Now I'm going to open up the interaction menu, head to director mode, and it will lead me to the trailer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and if you have anything on your short list, I recommend deleting it. Honestly, this actually helps me do birds as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take everything off my short list and I'm going to go ahead and go to actors, then go to online characters and I'm going to hover over my online character, press triangle or Y to send that outfit to the short list basically, and then press triangle or Y on one of your birds, all right, to send it to the short list. Once you've done that, exit to story mode, okay? It's a really easy method to get birds duping. For some reason, it didn't work for me in the beginning, but now it does perfectly. So open up the interaction menu and head back over to director mode. Once we're back at the trailer, this is where we actually start duping birds, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to shortlist actors and hold up on my left stick, all right? That's very important, hold up on the stick if your online character is the first one on the shortlist. So as you can see right here on the second time around, the birds are finally duping. So what I do here is I go AFK. I get my headphones and I tie them on the left stick and I just kind of pull it up and I have like some, some weight holding it on the other side so that it keeps the left analog stick, you know, facing forward. And that will keep you duping here. Now this takes approximately 25 minutes. I literally, once the birds start duping and I set myself AFK on the controller, I go ahead and I start a timer on my phone, not even lying. All right, I tell Siri to, you know, set a timer for 25 minutes and I go do whatever and then I come back when that 25 minutes is up, okay? Once the 25 minutes is up, your guy or your girl will eventually spawn on top of the bale of hay. And that's what we're going for, all right? So we're just going to skip forward to the end of the 25 minutes right here. Now, as you can see, once I move over, my girl or your guy character will be on the bale of hay. Once that happens, press wire triangle to take the bird off the short list. Once you've done that, it'll bring you back over to the trailer. Now go ahead and back out of that menu, go to actors and pick whichever category you want. I like to go to the lifeguard over here in emergency services. And you see that I can start pressing square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, and that will allow you to start finding the random clothing. Okay. So now we've gotten up to the random clothes and this is basically where, you know, things get a little bit tricky, but I'm telling you, it's not that difficult. You've already done the hardest parts of the glitch. All right. Now that we're at this point, I'm scrolling through the outfits and I'm trying to find Christmas masks, okay? Those are the only outfits you can bring online is an outfit with a Christmas mask on it, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, you can basically bring anything else online except for parachutes with this method. Parachutes, you need a second player to go into a job for you. But uh, yeah, so shortlist Christmas masks only. Make sure there's not too many layers on the outfits that you're getting, okay? Or the outfits that you're trying to get. But anything you like that you think might be able to bring online, go ahead and shortlist it. Like, you know, anything with a Christmas mask like that. Now, to get the IAA badge, which is what I'm doing in this video as well. So I'm bringing an outfit online, but I'm also getting the IAA badge. 
you want to go ahead and shortlist any Christmas mask you find. You see that another Christmas mask? I'm just going to go ahead and shortlist it. Shortlist like four or five and then fill up the rest of the shortlist with random outfits and make sure you overwrite your online character on the shortlist. Okay, make sure you overwrite it. Now, you're going to see why. So I'm going to skip forward to look, I finally found an outfit with the IA badge. All right, you got the badge and the bottom part of her pants and I know that the laminate is up on her neck. So this is how you glitch the IA badge on everything on the shortlist. You want to go ahead and while you're hovering over this outfit, shortlist it. As you can see, I have the full alert because I have full outfits in the shortlist. I just overwrote my online character. I'm going to back out. I'm going to go back to the shortlist. And now look, the IAA badge with the laminate around the neck has glitched onto every outfit on here. Okay? So that's why you don't need to find an IAA badge with a Christmas mask. This is the little glitch or the little trick on how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these outfits that has a Christmas mask so I can bring the outfit online along with the IAA badge that I want. Okay, so I'm trying to find the cleanest outfit probably here, which is this one. So I can't see the one, the laminate around her neck, but I know it's there, right? And the badge is the most important thing, really. So I'm going to go ahead and enter director mode with this character. Now, what you're going to do is go ahead and open up your interaction menu, and you're just going to quit director mode. We have to do this twice now, okay? So open up the interaction menu, hit quit director mode, and accept the alert. Now we should be spawning in story. Remember I said if you have a glitch save... Uh, that also helps with duping birds. If you happen to get this far, I recommend making a glitch save. So a glitch save is when you make a, a save in story mode while you're wearing this modded outfit. That will give you a glitch save. That's one way to do it. So just open up your phone and make a quick save and boom, you have a glitch save. All right, just to have it for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the interaction menu and head back to director mode and it'll send me back over to the trailer. Now, just press up on the D-pad one more time to enter director mode once again. And we're nearing the end of the transfer process, all right, from DM to online. So open up the interaction menu and quit director mode once again. No need for recent activities or anything like that anymore whatsoever. You should bring the outfit online if it's, there's not too many layers. So I take a couple steps forward and then I just press pause and I go to creator, all right? If you've done it like me, when you press creator, it's actually going to send you straight to online, all right? You're not going to end up going to creator. If you do, by any chance, end up in creator, you want to go ahead and just hit exit to online as quick as you can. But as you can see right there, I've spawned down in an online session and I have the outfit and I have the IAA badge. So whatever outfit you've saved, you know, or you've gotten from DM, go ahead and save it if you like it. Now for people with the IAA badge, this is what you can do with this. So while I'm wearing this outfit with the IA badge, first I saved that outfit by itself, all right? Now I'm going to save this outfit to another slot. What I'm doing right here is I'm actually making a default outfit with the IA badge, okay? So a simple outfit, kind of like you saw in the beginning of the video before I got, you know, before I brought the outfit online. So I like to just put on some shorts, maybe a tank top or a t-shirt, and some simple sneakers, okay? And as you can see, the IA badge stays there. And obviously a parachute and a forward cap for duping birds, all right? Because I really do feel like that helps. So I'm going to save this outfit. This is now my normal outfit that I use to bring, you know, outfits online from DM. And it has the IA badge and laminate on it. So that means I can glitch it onto any outfit on the short list. All right, and you're going to see what I mean here in a second. But first, remember, I'm going to go ahead and find an online session with an event running. This challenge just started once again. So I can go ahead and just head to direct or head to story mode once that challenge has started okay make sure you do that that will give you the best chance of bringing the outfit online like i said 100 percent save method for clean outfits it's a little bit trickier if the outfit isn't completely clean but it still works as you can see you know i've brought on that outfit already so this is after i actually got done killing the bird or duping it whichever method you want to use so i have my online character i'm going to go ahead and hover over the online character and then go to my short list and you see that i have these modded outfits i want to bring online and they have the glitched IA badge on them. So now I just continue the save process like before. Okay, and I can actually glitch this IA badge since it's on my normal outfit. I can glitch it onto any other outfit on the shortlist or the recently used. So this is the same save method as before. We're entering director mode and exiting director mode twice. All right, the original one before the patch, you just had to do it once, but since that first patch they put in, we just have to do it twice, okay, to get around it. So as you can see right here, this is the last process when it comes to transferring the outfit online. I'm in DM. I'm going to go ahead and quit director mode. Once this black screen ends up or ends, I'm going to go ahead and walk forward a step or two and press pause. Go to online and head over to creator. Okay. And that will lead you straight online. 
And that's the method you want to use, all right, to bring outfits online on Xbox or PlayStation. And this is how you do birds, all right? I didn't feel like I went over it in depth in that one video, so I wanted to make a full video dedicated to this method. So as you can see, I spawned down and I have the outfit with the IA badge and the laminate glitched on. All right, so just make sure you go ahead and you save the outfit. Save it a couple times and check your saves to make sure it's still there because you definitely don't want to lose this, all right? It's a really nice thing to have. So as you can see right there, that's it. I've saved the IA badge and I've shown you how to actually glitch it onto other outfits. And for those of you that don't have Save Wizard or anything or modded saves, this is how you gotta get outfits online, okay? It might take a while for the 25 minutes, but at least with this 100% save method, you're almost guaranteed to get the outfit that you want, all right? So that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.